that um, Jay Ashcroft, the Secretary of State elect for the state of Missouri, Jay, congratulations. People of the state, and thanks for having me on your show. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you for uh, for giving us some time today. I tell you what, uh, just let me get your your reaction to the overall results of uh, last night's groundbreaking election. I'm excited. I think the people have spoken loudly and clearly that they don't want politics as usual that they want individuals in government that are there to serve the people, and if they don't do what they said they'd do, they'll throw them back out. I'm just so excited. So so just talk for a moment about the impact. Uh, you know, they talk about coattails in a national election like this. Uh, the, all the talk leading up to the election was, you know, we have to try to save these down-ticket races in spite of Donald Trump, but in the end... I mean, he must have he must have won by fifteen or twenty points at least in Missouri, and I don't think there's any doubt that had an impact on the lieutenant governor race, the uh, the governor's race, the Senate race. All of them benefited from his big win. Yeah, I think that um, he articulated a message that resonated with the people of the state when he said that we need to be about serving the people of this country. I think we've had a president that was somewhat uncomfortable with the idea of American exceptionalism. And Donald, President-elect Donald Trump said, no, Americans should be exceptional because we are committed to freedom and liberty, and that makes paupers and the wretched refuse of the teeming shore into world beaters, and that's what we need to get back to. Boy, it sounds good to hear those words. Uh, you know, I, I wanted to say congratulations not only on winning uh, Secretary of State, but also on the voter ID bill, which won last yes. night. You know, I am just so happy. That is, yeah, I, I, you know, over a year and a half ago, I, I just decided to go ahead and start that process through the initiative petition, and it is amazing how the people of the state have responded. You know, I'd like to take credit, but I can't. It was the people of the state that did that. They want fair elections. They want their voice to be heard, and it will be, and I'm just... I'm humbled by the response they gave me. Yeah. What what uh, what happens now on uh for you because obviously uh, you start the uh, the transitioning process next I'm guessing. <laughs> well, there there is the transition process. There's also a rather long list of things I haven't done while I've been traveling <laughs> the state campaigning. So I do have a list of things, uh, starting with some railroad ties I need to replace in my backyard. <laughs> but, yeah, um, we're going to just start reaching back out to the people, working with the local election authorities to make sure that our elections work better, and and, and turning the page for a new tomorrow, because it's going to be great in Missouri. Well, I, I think that's outstanding. And, and again, our congratulations to you. And uh, if, if you'd pass along word, I'd, I'd love an opportunity to get your dad on uh, sometime soon and get his reaction to, to this early earthquake that happened in america last night i'll let him know thank you very much i, I appreciate it jay ashcroft thank you so much for your time you have a great all day, right sir. you too you too Bye. thank you there's your uh your secretary of state elect and what a what a um a sweep <laughs> statewide i mean the statewide offices uh, uh the treasurer uh, we're going to have eric schmidt you're going to have jay ashcroft as your secretary of state josh hawley is your attorney general uh the, the the lieutenant governor race might have been the biggest surprise of all last night now now the governor race got called much earlier than we thought for eric greitens